What's up guys, it's your boy Raxus here, and today I wanted to, let me adjust my mic, alright, I wanted to uh, share something that I thought was pretty cool, I don't know why I had that window up there, I wanted to share something that I thought was pretty cool, and something that I want to to show you guys that, uh, y uh, you know, enlighten y'all, um, so, alright, um, if you uh, go to you know, public school. I know nowadays a lot of public schools have all kinds of web filters and can store on their servers and all certain things, um, but you're in fear of getting in trouble or uh, just limitations overall uh, from how the servers are set up and the network is set up at your, at your school. Um, I recently started going to a vocational tech school um, I d I'm not at my high school anymore, even though the it's the same si the same situation for me at my high school with with the how the computers are, and it's even a little more restricted at my Votech class. I'm going for uh, computer programming, pretty much computer information systems, and so I'm working with computers a lot. Uh, and right off the bat, I saw that you know I was going to be really limited with what I could do on the com on the the computers with the, with the network that was how, how it was set up and stuff. So, I can I found a solution. I found a solution and you guys can use this too. It's called portable applications. All right? A portable application is pretty much something um you know, I have the Wikipedia page brought up right here so show that it's real. This is a real thing. And it's a program that's pretty much designed to to run on a compatible computer without being installed in a way that modifies the computer's figure configuration information. It doesn't store registry files. It you know none of that is stored on the actual computer. It's all stored on a an external storage device such as a USB flash drive such as this one. Um, so. Uh, and not just it's can't you know it's not just for USB flash drives you can put it on mass storage devices so that everything is there floppy disks no one uses um, so s this is a good way to bypass the whole l the limitations of oh what you can download on on the school server school workplace what have you that has restrictions yeah you know you bypass that you store things all natively on your own flash drive that you own that is yours and you go and you plug it into the computer and you just run things off of the flash drive you're not downloading it on their on their network you're not taking up any bandwidth playing or, or doing whatever you're doing and this isn't just for video games you can do this with there's portable programs and stuff i have a portable uh, photoshop there's portable sony vegas that i saw i'm going to show you how to obtain said portable applications um, all right, so what you're going to want to do, open up a new tab, and you just want to go portable apps, and enter that, and Google, whatever, whatever, and then click on the first thing you see here, portableapps.com, you, you clickety-clack that, and it'll bring you to this website here, and then all you do is you go down here to download now, free, you click that, you click this, you click this, so yeah. Um, and then it will give you this program. This is the Portable Apps Suite. Um, so from PortableApps.com, so what you downloaded. Here are my apps that I have installed from PortableApps.com. Um, there are other forms of Portable Apps. You don't have to just use them from here, but this is a good place to start and get some basic things and whatnot. And I'm pretty sure you can also make apps portable by using install a new app I think you can do that too um, and making apps portable isn't just as easy as redirecting the files the file paths to all go on your flash drive there's a little more complicity to it um, a lot of the times portable applications are slimmed down versions of of a program so that they um, it's a smaller file size eat more easily uh, you know uh, transported and, and transferred and all that and uh, doesn't take up as much space but a lot of the time when you slim down a program um, what they'll do is they'll slim it down by 
removing features in a program or, or things like that that aren't completely necessary or needed. Um, so then, you know, you might not have full functionality, and it might also make the program slightly unstable in some cases, I would imagine. So, but yeah. But for the most part, I mean, I haven't encountered any real problems with portable apps yet, so, like, you know, portable applications um, yet. So, there, it seems pretty awesome. And it is pretty awesome, that's why I'm sharing it with you. So, so there's all kinds of apps. Uh, to get an app with the portable apps thing, you go to apps, get more apps. So here is the wide variety of applications that the portable apps suite has uh, for you to download easily and seamlessly. Um, some ones that I would recommend that I use, uh, you can see I have you can see I use uh, Assault Cube Portable. This is a first-person shooter. Um, it's pretty fun. I've been playing it uh, at Tech. Um, me, I gave the game to my friend. I file transferred to my friend's USB and gave him all these files. And so me and him were playing on a on a one v one server. You know, just in <laughs> in Tech, and you're just one v oneing on this game. It's it's really fun. Crossbox is an emulator program. Uh, Google Chrome Portable, dude, you gotta have Google Chrome on the go wherever you go. So, using Internet Explorer just wasn't cutting it, so of course I had to get Google Chrome Portable, which is great. It says Hacker Portable. This is an advanced, it sounds malicious, but it's an advanced task manager, essentially. Things like Audacity, which is cool, um, media players, so you don't even have to use the school's media player, Open Office, um, kinds of stuff, you know, there, and there's games, there's games and all, all kinds of junk to play with and try out and, and all kinds of stuff, so there is that, so that is the portable app suite, um, and then, you know, you, you click on the app you want, and you know, install, and blah, 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 so here's my flash drive, I have a whole folder for portable apps, um, now, see, I redirected, there are some things that I have on here, such as this SNES emulator, that isn't actually really boasted as being portable, but it's really small in file size. I mean, if you can see, with all the files put together, it's only 2 megabytes, almost 3. I just closed that shit. It's only uh, t 3 megabytes at, at the very most. And, um, you know, so some things can be portable, even if they're not really meant to be, just because they're small or it has relatively um, uh, uh, organized uh, file pathing, path you can just redirect the file paths, copy the folders in your flash drive and whatnot. Um, and you know, I have an N64 uh, emulator with Ocarina of Time. Um, Cave Story. Cave Story is a great game. Um, I'll leave links in the descriptions to some of the things that I used that weren't in the Portable App Suite. I'll also leave links to Portable App Suite and all that. But um, Cave Story is awesome. It's freeware also. Um, it also got a sequel, I'm pretty sure. I think it's called Cave Story Plus, which you can find on Steam, my friend told me. But I've just been playing Cave Story, and Cave Story, for a 2D side-scrolling platform shooter, kind of, it reminds me of Metroid Prime or something. It's it's really awesome, and it's just really awesome, and I recommend you play it. The only thing, though, is it's a Japanese game, so you're going to have to download an English patch and patch it in so that it translates everything to English, and you can actually understand what's going on, because I also heard that the plot is really good, even though I haven't been paying attention to it. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave links to that. Um, and if you want to know how to set this up, how to ins how to set up Cave Story, I can make a video on that. Just ask. All you got to do is ask. Well, let's just show Cave Story, for example, running native off of a flash drive. You're going to click on it, and you're going to see it's just going to boot right up and run. And yeah, you, you don't have to depend on anything. You know, I, I would never steer you wrong. I would never recommend anything or show anything to you guys how to do it if I didn't use it myself. Um, and this shit is just awesome, you know, like, it, it really is. Um, I use it daily now, and not even just for the portability fact, but portable apps in general, not just for the fact that they are portable, I can't even jump, not for the fact that they are portable and you can, oh, play 
stuff at school or whatever. It's honestly just such an easier way uh, and more uniform way of you know uh, using things and, and downloading programs because it's so it, the file sizes are usually a lot smaller. They're just more compact. It's just it's just so much simpler. Portable apps. I don't know why people haven't been using them or why everyone doesn't know about them, but they're just amazing. And and uh, I definitely recommend using them, honestly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see videos like this, uh, subscribe, leave a like, comment, you know, whatever. Let me know that uh, you, you liked this and you want to see more. If you have any suggestions of what I should do in the future, please, please, please let me know, and I will, I will try to, to I'll try to please you. I just ain't got my rockets increased. And so, yeah, guys, um, that's all I have for today. And I guess I'll catch you guys later. So, Raxus signing out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope this video is helpful, and I hope that you utilize the, the gift that is portable applications, and don't forget your boy Raxus, who let you, who let you in on the, on the secret, but yeah, so now I'm gonna go edit this video, and, uh, then I'm gonna, then I'm just gonna cry myself to sleep, cause I'm bad at cave story.